Everybody thinks about the large amount of money an English teacher, foreigner, makes teaching English in Vietnam. But nobody talks about how much you have to spend in order to live in Vietnam. And this episode is all about the cost of living for an English teacher who lives and teaches English in Vietnam. Hello everybody, this is Dan from ESLVietnamZone.com and in today's video we are going to talk about the cost of living for foreigners who live and teach English in Vietnam. Most teachers come here with only one thought, to save money. Saving money is not, is not easy anywhere in the world and Vietnam is not an exception. The amount of money you can save depends on your lifestyle and of course it depends on your salary. As I've said, a native English teacher can get easily $1,500 working 25 hours a week. I know teachers who can make more and teachers who don't have money to buy a beer. Anyway, knowing the cost of living can give you an idea about how much you can save, if you can save. Housing. First of all, you need a place to live. Renting a room, apartment or house can be a difficult task. Out there are plenty of them, but they, they are not cheap. I suggest you to choose a hotel at the beginning and then according to the job location and other factors to start searching for an apartment or room. In the area where, where most of tourists live, a hotel room costs from 10 to 17 dollars a night. You get air conditioner, TV, Wi-Fi, private bathroom, refrigerator. Once you found a teaching job, you should start looking for your own place. A cheaper alternative will be a single room, very similar to hotel room. I've seen one last year, it was $300, all included, electricity, cable TV, Wi-Fi, etc. It has a shared kitchen on the ground floor, but if you are a single, if you are single, it should be more than enough. For couples, there are apartments in District 7, Fumihung area, that cost $450 to $600 a month. Fully furnished, very nice, in a very clean area. Everything else in District 1, 3, 10, Bintan is more expensive. Definitely $300 a month per person will get you a nice place to live. If you are single, maybe a little more. Again, it depends on the location. For partic particularly needs, don't hesitate to ask. I'll give you the best advice I can. Transportation. Ho Chi Minh City is a special city when it comes to traffic. In one word, I can say terrible. Going out is a real adventure and walking is almost impossible. Personally, I hate everything means traffic in Vietnam. Most people use a motorbike to move around. I suggest you to do the same. Honda is the most popular brand among Yamaha and Suzuki. You can buy a motorbike on your own name. You need a Vietnamese someone who you trust to do that for you. You can buy a second-hand one, cheaper, and just go to get the job done. You can get a good motorbike for $500 to $800, second-hand of course. If riding a motorbike is a difficult task for you, then you have a problem. Going to work by bus is time-consuming. Buses get stuck in traffic, in traffic, especially after 5 p.m. Believe me, the bus is not a good choice, although they are clean and most of them have air conditioner. There is one more alternative, motorbike taxi, Seom as they are called in Vietnamese. They are pretty cheap and you, and you can arrange a monthly cost for their services. Most of the Seom riders speak basic English, so you can communicate relatively easy. Taxi can be a good choice if there is a group that goes in the same location and the cost can be shared. Food and drinks. When it comes to food and drinks, you have two options, at home 
or at a restaurant. Eating at home. I mostly eat at home, I don't eat out very often. My wife is a good cook and eating at home is definitely cheaper than eating out. Most of the necessary food comes from supermarket and local market. Fish, $3.5 per kilo. Pork, $6 per kilo. Beef, $10 per kilo. Bread, French baguette, 300 grams. 6,000 VND, that's $0.3. Cooking oil, $2 per liter. Potatoes, $1 per kilo. Salami, a good one imported from Russia. You can find at Maximark on Baton High Street. $8 for a half kilo. You can find different Vietnamese kinds of salami, which are not bad at all and are much cheaper. Ham. There are many kinds of ham and the price is similar. $2 per 200 grams. Cheese. Actually, it's cream cheese imported from New Zealand. 3 kilo per pack. It's $10 for a kilo. Tomatoes, cucumbers, onion, and many other kind of and many other kinds of vegetables are all a half dollar to one dollar per kilo. You can also find sausage made in Vietnam and it's very delicious. Eating out. As I said, I don't eat out very often, but when I do it, I usually choose a restaurant that offers buffet. There are plenty of them in Ho Chi Minh City and choosing one is a matter of taste. I'll tell you what I've tried. My favorite one is Bom Shen Hotel uh, on Dom Khoi Street. It has a wonderful buffet with lots of food, lemon juice and tea as well, at an affordable price, $10 for a person. Kichi Kichi is a Japanese restaurant that offers buffet, hot pot only. It used to be my favorite, but now it is more expensive. More than that, last time I tried, the food wasn't as good as before, so I've stopped going there. The price is somewhere around 150,000 VND, $7. Lunch and dinner have different prices and drinks are not included. You can check out their website, kichi.com.vn. At the second floor of Maximar Supermarket, I'm talking about the one on Batan High Street, there is a fast food. I really don't remember the name, but it is next to the Pizza Hut that offers buffet for $5 per person. It is not as great as the two mentioned above, but you can give it a try. It is my first choice now because it is near my house, just three minutes on food. Good price and decent food. Probably you would like to try traditional Vietnamese noodle soup called pho in Vietnamese. I recommend you pho hung and pho 24 restaurants. They are between two and three dollars. Eating Vietnamese food is not cheaper than buffet. Not long time ago, I had some spring rolls with rice and vegetables in a middle class restaurant, and I had to pay almost 150,000 Vietnam dong, $7. I don't remember the name of the restaurant, but it is located at the crossroad of CMT8 and Vo Van Tan Street. Other Vietnamese kinds of food I don't really enjoy. A beer, 0.3 milliliters at a restaurant, Vietnamese middle class restaurant, is 13,000 to 20,000 VND for Saigon beer and 23,000 VND for Heineken. A pack of cigarettes, I smoke Marlboro Light, is 22,000 VND, $1. For sure you can find cheaper food on one of the many restaurants located on the sidewalk. Yes, sit on a plastic chair in the middle of the sidewalk 
and breed motorcycle smoke. There is one near my house where you can have a big meal, fried chicken, rice, vegetables for a little bit over a dollar. I definitely don't recommend this kind of restaurants. That's it about cost of living in Vietnam. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Talk to you next time.